Hello everyone, and welcome to a continued Let's Play of Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney. Today we're going to be meeting our new opponent, and and the pair is going to keep being a pair. What the fuck was that noise in the big one? That's a good question. I don't know. I actually heard that too. What did it sound like? A bird? Weird. I don't know. Anyways, I don't think a bird snuck into my room. Let's get this shit started. Wait, why okay, did I say first no. Well, fucking whatever. It's fine. That's what they always <laughs> say before they die. Huh? That's what they always say before well, they die. Well, we have our other saves. We have, like, tons of them. Imagine you fucked that up last time, Bruno. This is, well, so fuck you up with my dick. December 26, 9.44 a.m. District Court Defendant Lobby Number 2. Oh my god, it's me. <laughs> Indeed. Karma? That's right, Manfred from Karma. He's the best prosecutor there is. He hasn't lost a case in his 40 years career. He's a god of prosecution, right? A god! Not a single case? Oh wait, that was, was my voice. Sorry. You do anything to get a goody verdict. Anything. Mm. It sounds like you. <laughs> yeah, sounds like someone else I know, Edgeworth. <laughs> Be sure to think the same thing. Mm. You don't understand. I mean, he really do anything. Manfred from Karma is a man to be feared. <laughs> I don't even suck the judge's dick. I was wondering that. Is <laughs> it implying that he would sleep with a judge? I imagine so. I imagine that he would, like, hire, like, 50 prostitutes to sleep with the judge. If he got, if it would fucking get him a guilty. If really, that boy would kill the judge. <laughs> Probably. That's quite a claim coming from someone who forges evidence. He told me that it's really mean. Uh, he told me what it really means to prosecute. W what? Just picks a prosecutor as vicious as me, mortified by a factor of ten. Not a hundred, or not five, but ten. <laughs> yes. Ooh. So, so was he your teacher then, Mr. Edgewood? Something like that. And now he's trying to get you found guilty? What a creep. Oh wait. Maybe he's planning on losing on purpose to help you out. I don't think you get it, Maya. You're kind of a dumbass. She's a dumb bitch, if you <laughs> mind. <laughs> yeah. Not a chance. He hasn't lost him once in 40 years. 40 years. Wait, how old is this motherfucker? Because he has to be at least like 62 by now. <laughs> yeah, I know, seriously. Uh, He's as ruthless as me, times 20. You, you, you're <laughs> fucking up your numbers, bro. <laughs> That's pretty ruthless. <laughs> like I said, he's a god among prosecutions. So you see, I did not have like a religion going on there. <laughs> I didn't either. I guess that's something like Mia was to me. I mean, but I don't think he has big boobs. <laughs> I know. Speaking of Mia. Um, Maya. Oh, no, Amaya. Uh huh. Could you grow some massive titties for me? <laughs> <laughs> we could really use some massive titties right now, don't you think? Oh. I can't. What do you Sorry. mean you can't? Go fucking drink some milk, bitch. <laughs> I tried. I really tried, but I couldn't reach. <laughs> you couldn't reach? I think it's because I haven't been training. My powers are weak again. Oh man, what bad timing. I'm really sorry. Like, you should go in the corner and cry. I try <laughs> my best. It sucks. Your best is sucks. <laughs> Your best probably does suck. I hope so. What are you whispering about? Oh, you oh. You don't want to tell him about the fact that he abused magic to solve your cases? <laughs> I think it's against the law, probably. Well, yeah, also, well, admittedly, we're, we're barely abusing it. Like, in this case, all it would do is give Maya massive titties, and then she'd be Mia, and that's literally, like, she'd be Mia, and it's like, well, I know, what do you do? You haven't actually abused it, but I think you do in the second game, so that's, that's definitely. Yeah. 
I, you kind of, though I don't think, I, I forget how much you actually abuse it. Well, it's time, let's head in. December 26, 10 a.m., District Courtroom, Courtroom number three. But maybe the mother was actually fraud concerned, she never came back from the fucking dead. Huh, interesting. <laughs> That's, it's a fair point. Court is now in session for the trial of Mr. Miles Edgeworth. The defense is ready, your honor. Do I, do I, do I voice this guy too? Uh, yeah, I think so. Er, uh, Mr. Von Karma, is the prosecution ready? Looks like a badass, you gotta give him that. <laughs> Fool. You seriously think that I could stand here and I, and I, ah, fuck. <laughs> Let me do that again, <laughs> Mr. Your honor. You seriously think that I would stand here where I'm not completely prepared. Right, my apologies. I like this guy, can we just start playing him instead? <laughs> uh, I like Phoenix Wright though. He's even got the judge scared. Very well, your opening statement please. Decisive evidence. Lagging Skype. <laughs> A decisive witness. What else could possibly be required? Ah, uh, er, nothing. Of course, that should be fine. The prosecution may call its first witness. What is with this guy? Is he royalty or something? Uh, then if our German royalty is dead, that'd be very unlikely. <laughs> How am I supposed to fight against this? I call the detective in charge of this case. Detective Dick Gumshoe. Okay, gumshoes first. Let's see how this goes. I really like this guy. I don't know why. I don't know. <laughs> he's just so badass. It's probably, uh, probably because he's German as hell. And unlike Von Karma Briska, she's not a bitch. I mean, he's, the woman doesn't seem as bad as this guy. Describe the incident now. Y yes, sir. Detective Gumshoe looks nervous. Er, please take a look at the map. The murder happened late Christmas Eve, around midnight. There was one boat in the very middle of the lake. There were two men on the boat. Now there happened to be a woman camping here on the edge of the lake. At 12.10 a.m. she heard two pistol shots. Then the boat started to move. It went towards the boat rental shop. Hmm. Overhead map added to the court record. Testify to the court about the arrest now. W w wait Mr. Von Karma. Yes? Actually, I'm the one supposed to be handling these pros proceedings. Nope. Wong, there's only one thing you need to do here. You will slam down your grave and say the word Gertie. That is your role. Y yes of course. I'm You're pretty sure you can't do that <laughs> without bad as you. Yeah, I know. Uh, that, that's like walking into like the police station and be like, y y I am now the person who arrests people. All you have to do is put the key to the lock and close it. <laughs> yes, of course. You're quite right. No, he's not. I'm sad this guy doesn't show again, up again next game. Yeah, I, I'm curious what happens to him after this. The rest of Edgeworth. A man called into the station around 30 minutes after midnight. We headed to the scene of the crime as fast as we could. That's where we found Mr. Edgeworth. Now I didn't... I didn't yeah. Now, <laughs> now I didn't suspect him of anything at all. But the next morning a body was found in the lake. So we had to arrest Mr. Edgeworth. Hmm, I see. Very well. Begin your cross examination, attorney. Now. Okay, I'm, not sure if, I'm not sure if I should be yelling that now or not, but I feel like he's more reason cool than he's calm. Yeah. Indeed. Okay, so let's press gumshoe. What Hold it! it? Huh? Objection. I wonder if that guy's gonna be yelling objection at all. I don't know. He 
probably will be. You received a call from a man? Er, yep. But it wasn't this woman? Yeah, exactly. But you said there was a woman camping there. Er, she was the one who heard the two gunshots, right? Objection. Man, he does some pretty badass or says objection. Why, because I said it that way or what? Oh, uh, there's a voice clip that goes oh. to everyone's objections. That well, wait, I don't even know how he sounds, and I'm probably voicing him completely wrong. Um, I don't know. He has his his. He, you actually are voicing right, right, I think. Like you said, uh, he doesn't like even when he shouted objection, he didn't really yell it. It was more. He's you know, just yeah. Yeah. That woman and the man who called in the report are two different people, obviously. Different people. There were two witnesses. Eric, we already knew that. The testimony were quite similar, however. Today I have summoned a woman who was camping. A woman who was camping? A lot of heart. What happened next, detective? HOLD IT! How long was it between receiving the report and your arrival at the lake? Er, well, I'd say it was about three minutes. That's pretty fast. <laughs> Did we already have Yeah, this? but not uncord. Uh, yeah. Our motto for the month is get there quick. Objection. Detective, you will refrain from casually revealing department secrets. Yes, sir. Sorry, sir. Wait, what? <laughs> Apparently their motto of the month is a department secret. Do that, and you'll be able to look forward to your next salary review. So much to look forward to these days. This is no time for daydreaming. Continue. Y yes sir. Hold it! That was Mr. Edgeworth, like, when you saw him then? Well, from what I saw, he looked pretty relaxed. Not like a murderer at all, really. Objection. Detective, this court requires the facts, not your opinion. How many years have you been on the force? Facts only, detective. Hard, good, objective facts. Not like my tea. Ah, <laughs> uh, indeed. Y y yes, sir. Man. Not, huh? not sure what that joke was actually supposed to imply. <laughs> <laughs> I think it, the, the joke was supposed to be implying that his dick was hard, cold, and... But I said uh, not like. Oh. So I, soft, I guess it's soft form and... Totally not objective. <laughs> I guess not. And he's got a share of objections. Hold it! Why didn't you think he was suspicious? You should know. We have a deep trusting relationship with the prosecutors. Objection. Detective, this court isn't interested in your musings. Deep trusting. Poppycock. What? What does Puffy Cock mean? <laughs> I assume it doesn't mean what I read it as. <laughs> Probably, I don't know, Poppycock. I'm sure, I, I'm sure I haven't heard Poppycock before. I haven't. It's, I've never. Oh, it's it's an English insult. It's like, I don't know. It, it, it's, I'm trying to think of what it's like, but it's, it's basically like ridiculous. Okay. I've never heard of so many flippant comments from an detective detective on the force. <clears throat> detective Gumshoe doesn't look so good. Continue now. Did Hold it! it now. Huh? <laughs> Indeed. Did you find any clues on the body? A single bullet was recovered from the body. He was shot through the heart, fatally. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> How do you get shot to the heart not fatally? <laughs> That's what I was thinking. Uh, I, I have no idea how you get shot through the heart not fatally. That'd be... Um... They had more, yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, uh... But also my other question is, 
How oh, come in all the other cases they never fucking get the bullet? Because all of these were gunshot cases. Yeah. No, I doesn't understand one, but yeah. Wait, no, there were. Oh, no, 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 no. I was, yeah, I don't think we've had any gunshots before, oh. actually. There's, cause, yeah, there were always, like, there was the, the, there were two blunt objects and one stabbing. Okay, okay, my bad, I just, did, did you, I, I assume there'd be more gunshot kids. Judge, here's a bullet. It doesn't strike bone, it, it didn't strike bone, so chip is well preserved. Very well. The court accepts this bullet into evidence. I mean, how the fuck would he do a head? How would he do a hard shot from like out the coast? Huh? How the hell would like he pull off a hard shot from like out the coast? Uh, no, I, he's all, all supposed to be on the boat with the guy, I think. I thought there, there were two people on the boat, and one of the guys, and he was at the beach. Okay, whatever. I don't know. Old. Figured out with the thing. Hold it! W why is that? Well, we found the murder weapon in the boat. The murder weapon? <coughs> a pistol. Detective Gumshoe. That is a vital piece of information. Please revise your testimony. R right. S sorry, Your Honor. Hold it! What about the pistol made it decisive evidence? I think they both of them do that. Heck. He has the same evil laugh as Edge. Oh, yeah, see? <laughs> there were fingerprints on the pistol found in the boat. They were clear prints from Mr. Edgeworth's right hand. W what? Order! Order! So Mr. Edgeworth's fingerprints were found on the murder weapon. Y yes your honor. Judge, this is a vehement question. Uh, accepted into evidence. Pistol added to the court record. Members of the court, we now have the pistol used in the murder and the bullet found on the body. Detective. Get the fuck out. <laughs> yes, sir. Was a bullet found in the body fired from this pistol? Yes, the ballistic markings on the bullet match the pistol. Hmm. Hey, Nick, I don't have big breasts, but I can help. <laughs> what does he mean, ballistic markings? Shocking. To imagine. Someone here does not know something as basic as ballistic markings. Wait, how the fuck loud did she speak? <laughs> I don't know. I thought she was whispering to me. Nick, Nick he's glaring at me. Can we kick her out? <laughs> She's ruining our case. Yeah. Wait, well, I explain. Actually, Judge, you do it. Ah, uh, but me? Um, ahem. Ballistic markings are like fingerprints of a gun. The barrel leaves distinctive marks on each bullet it fires. You can examine these ballistic fingerprints to see which gun fired the shot. It's quite accurate. Indeed. This leads to one invariable conclusion. The bullet found in the victim's heart was without a doubt fired from this pistol. This pistol, which, as you may have recalled, was covered with defendant's own fingerprints. Oh my god, I think he got us a pretty good. <laughs> yeah, this is gonna be hard to disprove. Uh, uh, order! Order! This is bad. This makes it look like Edgeworth did it. You <laughs> think? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Very uh, such. I'd say it's almost decisive, yes. Honestly, I could declare a verdict at this point. However... You wish to hear the witnesses speak, no doubt. Very well. I'm somewhat fatigued, and so I would take a brief break. I will call my witness after the recess, which will last ten minutes. Judge? Y yes What are you doing? A ten minute recess, now. But, but he... wait, I... Huh? I just fucking do that. <laughs> No, seriously. <laughs> when, when, the, when, the, when the lawyer has more power than the judge. 
It's pretty ridiculous. Just bang your flimsy gravel and get it with, get on with it, man. Y yes. Ahem, this court will take a ten minute recess. Who's running this court anyway? I think you should pack your stuff and run the fuck away. <laughs> you cannot beat German people. Uh, <laughs> I think we can though. We're fucking Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney. Summer 26, 11.09 a.m. Your, def <laughs> your, your, your ally guy doesn't even know what the fuck ballistic markings are. <laughs> well, that's fine. Maya's useless always. She, she, she can just go cry in a corner. Edgeworth, what's going on here? Your fingerprints are on the murder weapon. Uh, um. And that foggy photo makes one thing clear. The only man who could have shot the person was... The, the only one who could have shot that man was the person in this photo. True. Was that you on the boat? Yes, it was me. What? But you must believe me, I didn't shoot him. Th then who did? I don't know. You don't know? Weren't you right there? I heard a gunshot from very close by. Then the other man fell from the boat. I can't say why, but... I thought at the time that he had shot himself. Y you mean it was a suicide? That's the only explanation I can come up with. Huh. I'm gonna convince anyone of that. Say... Say, Maya. Huh? What? Any progress with Mia? We need her big tits. Um... Uh, sorry. It's no good. Ugh. <laughs> I, I know. I'm not... I'm not good for anything, am I, Nick? Right, yes, you're, you're not, you stupid bitch! Get the fuck out. <laughs> if I can't call my sister, I might as well not be here, right? Yeah, you're useless. <laughs> Say it. Say it, bro. You know okay. what you Um, well, actually... Don't blow law. You don't have any trial experience or sort of techniques. Yeah, you're pretty much useless, but I can't say that. Oh, it's, it's okay, Nick. You don't have to say anything. Your face said it for you. Oops. N no, of course we... I'm sorry. It's okay, Nick. I don't know anything about twice or defense. What's more, I'm a spirit medium who can't even contact spirits. Aww, Maybe Aaron you should go drown yourself. <laughs> oh, sorry, that's a little extreme. Uh, she should just make herself useful by sucking our dick. <laughs> uh, of course. <laughs> I'm sure that guy would get through with it too. Huh? Yeah. He could do that and he'd he be like, okay. Indeed. Job guy. Yeah, he, indeed they would be. Uh, everyone has their off days. I mean, I've just been getting lucky lately. But you never know when my luck is going to run out. Really? I like how Edward probably hears that. <laughs> whoa, 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 wait. Don't jinx this case any worse than it already is. It's bad for my heart. Oh, oh, s sorry. Oops. <laughs> I mean, if you do that all the time, like, hey, hey, um, samurai guy, you are fucked. <laughs> yeah, I know. Uh, we did that to him a lot. Anyways, I think this is a good part, place to end the pot. So Sounds thank good. you. Yeah, so thank you for watching, everyone, and hopefully we'll beat the big, scary robot German guy later. He's not really a robot, but, I mean... I don't know why you would ever beat that guy. He's fucking awesome. Because <laughs> we're Phoenix Wright. This is like... I know he's awesome. He's like the final boss, basically. But we can do it. We're Phoenix Wright. Have a showdown with this shit. Fucking, Sounds fucking good. do it. Next time. Yes. See you guys. Yeah, thank y'all for watching.